Good morning, beautiful people. We're here with uh, shit. Now I can't do the zoom thing. <laughs> God damn it! I have to record the other way. I, am I in, in frame? No. <laughs> no you're I wonder. Maybe I can like. I could invent something that like. Just get like a mirror. Gets out of here. Just put a mirror. Yeah, mirror. <laughs> I guess you could do that. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. We're hanging out with this dude and with this dude. And he came to the place because he's also doing daily vlogs. And now we're gonna uh, come up with some video ideas for the month. Daily vlog. Boom. Oh my God, I just took a nap because I needed it. I was getting grumpy. I was getting in a bad mood for no reason. And now I took a nap and I cold, took a cold shower and now I'm feeling much better. And now I'm gonna go back to the boys. Let's go. But again. That's a very long schlong. <laughs> Can I do it? Film me. There is a technique though. Yeah, yeah. I know the technique. Oh, you know the technique. I know the technique. <laughs> That's the technique. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, LinkedIn. Hey, LinkedIn. This is Thomas taking over Finn's oh. channel. Just wanted to show you Finn. <laughs> Finn's having a client meeting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, hey, Finn, I wanted to ask you what are you currently working on in Bali? He's working really, really hard right now, building a following. I don't get it in. I don't think it fits. Oh, <laughs> oh fitting here. Oh, oh. What, what else would I mean? It's just like, you know. Spirit of Love. By Finn Thor. Thor how did you name? Thormir. I don't even know. Thor, Thor Tomat. Tormeyer. Tormeyer. All right, that's the LinkedIn video. Okay, there we go. Great. No, this is for YouTube. Um, I'm here with Thomas, and Thomas has actually been in Bali for three years, and he speaks Bahasa, which is the local language. He has a business here, so he knows Indonesia and Bali, and um, that's why I got him in the video because I am obviously posting now more and more stuff about Bali. And one question that I'm getting a lot from you guys is. You know, Finn, I've read about Bali and I hear about, you know, earthquakes and tsunamis and diseases, rabies and everything. It must be dangerous. Like people must be dying left and right. Right. And um, so I wanted to ask Thomas, because obviously you've been here for three years. So how is it? How many, you know, how many natural disasters have you had? <laughs> how many tsunamis have have hit you and, and all of that? Well, like. You know, Bali is in like in Indonesia in the, is in the ring of fire. So they, there's lots of volcanoes and the seismic activity is pretty high. Yeah. However, and even though we had some um, you know volcano eruption in Bali, we got some um, tsunami, but that wasn't in Bali. That was far away in Indonesia. There's a lot of natural disasters, but there's nothing like really scary. Uh, just to give you an example, like the thing that's killing you know like most people, not natural disasters, they're like motorbike accident. Just so, like in any other country, basically. Just like in any yeah. other country, right? So obviously there is some like tropical disease, but not like there is dengue fever. Yeah. Got that once, lasted three days, and then I was fine. Yeah. But I mean, if you worried about earthquake or or tsunamis or, or what else? Like volcanoes? What is people yeah. asking? Volcanoes, uh, everything. Like like it's really fine. Even it was two years ago when um, the moon Agung was um, erupting, they had like a seven kilometers you know, perimeter around the volcano. Nobody got killed. Um, just some people went refugees in camps and we actually went there to bring them you know, food and goods and everything they needed. But it was really safe, like nobody got injured. And I just know out there in Europe and USA, like people were panicking, like Bali is into cows as the moon Agung is erupting, but 
um, that that's not how it happened. Yeah. Also, mm. I mean, like Indonesia is a big country, so if there's a tsunami in yeah. Indonesia, it's like <laughs> yeah. it's still it's like, very very unlikely that it hits you ex personally. Exactly. So um, I feel like for most, as for most things, um, it's just another reason to like not do and to have an excuse to not go if you really want to go. So if you want to go. Yes, there are things happening, but as Thomas said, it's more likely that you're going to get hit by a car or a scooter than any <laughs> tsunami or Definitely. earthquake or volcano eruption Definitely. hitting you. The notion of transcendence and traditional spirituality, and it's just like seeking these highs, seeking these, um, these, these, this, this nirvana, but in reality, it's like, oh, like the contrast is juicy. Yeah, and it's like, and how we can just have it all fit in any given moment. I used to want to be able to like sustain my bliss state all the time. And like, and like, fuck, I know I can do it. But it's just like, it's hard to do it because it's not natural. Hey, we just came back from a double date night, which was amazing, at least in my opinion. I don't know what you think. Um, I think any night where you have four desserts for two people, it's oh, yeah. a pretty good night. I had two vanilla milkshakes. I think I overdid it on the milkshakes. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. See you tomorrow. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate